All right, let's now cut across to what is happening in Malaysia, where there is, of course, a new turn to the political turmoil in Malaysia. And Muhyiddin Yassin has been appointed as the country's new interim prime minister, and he is presently taking oath. وَلَا تُوَلِّي أُمُورَنَا شِرَارَنَا رَبَّنَا عَلَيْكَ تَوَكَّلْنَا وَإِلَيْكَ أَنَبْنَا وَإِلَيْكَ الْمَصِيرُ رَبَّنَا وَآتِنَا مِنْ لَدُنْكَ رَحْمَةً وَحَيِّئْ لَنَا مِنْ أَمْرِنَا رَشَدًا رَبَّنَا آتِنَا فِي الدُّنْيَا حَسَنَةً وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ حَسَنَةً وَكِنَا عَزَابَ النَّارُ وَصَلَّى has appointed 72-year-old Yasin as the Prime Minister following days of political vacuum after Mahathir Mohamad's shock resignation from the position last Monday. The official statement from the King's Palace said that in the King's opinion, Muhyiddin Yasin has the support of the majority of the members of Parliament. Yasin, of course, is a former Interior Minister and is the head of the Bursatu Party, which is the party of Mahathir Mohammed. But there's an interesting catch to Yasin's rise to power. He'll be, he has now taken over as the Prime Minister with the backing of United Malays and National Organization. The UMNO, ironically, is the same party which was ousted by Mahathir and Ibrahim's partnership in 2018. So what this means is that Yasin has found a new coalition partner for the Bersatu party and will be forming the government by practically splitting the party. Yasin's appointment is of course a big setback for Mahathir and his attempts to hold on to office even after having resigned last week. So in what was to be called as a last-ditch last effort, Mahathir had said that he had the backing of the former coalition partner Anwar Ibrahim to try and make a return, but the king's intervention seems to have trumped Mahathir's plans of you know, holding on to power at the age of 94. Now, a frustrated king in an officially issued statement said that the process of appointing a prime minister could not be delayed and the decision to appoint Yasin was in the best interest of all. Muhyiddin Yasin is presently taking oath of office. He'll soon be facing a vote of confidence in the parliament. Meninggalkan Majlis Singgah Sana diiringi Yang Amat Berhormat Perdana Menteri Malaysia dan Yang Amat Berbahagia Puan Seri Datin Paduka Noraini binti Haji Abdul Rahman. Demikian tadi penyempurnaan istiadat penggunaan surat cara pelantikan dan istiadat mengangkat sumpah jawatan dan setia serta sumpah simpang rahsia oleh Yang Mahu Berhormat Perdana Menteri Malaysia. Suatu istiadat yang mungkin pada saat...